Yes, hello there guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is People Gaming, and today I'm bringing you my full theory on what will happen and what we will do in the modern day story of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So since Assassin's Creed Syndicate got announced, people have been speculating and coming up with ideas slash theories about what will happen in, the syn in Syndicate's modern day. Seeing as Assassin's Creed Unity's modern day was a pile of shit. Now Ubisoft have been very picky with what information they have released about the modern day in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. They have said that the modern day in Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be f following the story of AC Unity, but will bring back what feels loved about the modern day in the game. From this we can tell that the modern day in Assassin's Creed Syndicate will be following the Phoenix Project that we had learned about in Assassin's Creed Unity. Now the Phoenix Project is all about Abstergo and the Templars using the, gene the genetic code of the sages and using it to look into the past back to the first civilization and figure out how to actually make the pieces of Eden and use them as weapons, Pres presumably to control the world and destroy anyone who gets in their way, i.e. the assassins. Now from what we know through the initiates, it's that after Desmond died in AC3 and from AC3 to AC Unity, the assassins were hiding out in the Norway base. Now from there, I presume that the assassins, Sean and Bishop, are using it as their base of communications to gather intel from the other assassins and basically get them to come to the Norway base. Now from there, the assassins would have the advantage as the Templars do not know where they are and the assassins know what the Atadego slash Templars are doing and can presumably help to stop them. Now as for the, but we'll bring back what the fans loved part, I believe that we will have some kind of modern day protagonist. Now, this protagonist can know can be no other than Galena Verona. Veronia? Now Galena Veronia was born in 18, 1983 sorry, and is a Russian member of the Assassin Order, as well as one of the daughters of an assassin scientist who succeeded in constructing her own animus inside an old assassin laboratory located in Protovino, Moscow. After gaining the assistance of Gavin Banks and his allies in 2014, Galena assassinated her mother, sister and her former assassin comrades who had been driven mad and insane through the bleeding effect. In doing so, she became the last of the Russian assassins, leading her to later accept Gavin's offer to become part of the Altair Year 2's crew. Now obviously they go to Norway and meet with William and Mars and everything like that. Now Galina is special because of her mother supposedly being able to speak to Eve. Now, th now it is my theory that just like her mother, Galina inherited the ability to use the powers like Desmond had, but with the ability to speak to Eve. Now if this does come true, then Galena could be the one to stop Juno and the Templars in the plot of world domination and basically save the world. So guys, this was just like a very small theory that I had just come up with, which I hope comes true, and I believe it's very strong. I believe that if Ubisoft were to do something like this, then it would make the franchise great again and just give the fans what they have always wanted, and that is a stable, fun and intriguing modern day storyline. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you have then why not click the subscribe button, it's totally free and will keep you up to date with the latest and greatest information, gameplay and theories vi and theory videos like this one about the latest Assassin's Creed games. Also click that like button and tell me down below in the comment section what you guys think about my theory and what you want it to be like. Bye for now and have a great day.